Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today it's May 14th and this is my shop update. So I hope everyone is staying safe, staying well, and uh, all that good stuff. I have been uh, having a little bit of fun in the shop while also doing some actual serious things. <laughs> so first off, I finished up the, the scrap wood scrap cutting boards. So I have a few of these that I made from the offcuts from the chaos boards, which I showed last time. So this one is uh, kind of a goofy one. It's got a wedge in the middle there. So this is three different offcuts all put back together. And then I have uh, a little baby chaos board from uh, some chaos stuff. And lastly, well, actually, I got a couple. I'll show them all. It's quick. This is a really goofy one. This is like a <laughs> weird triangle thing. That's uh, something. And this guy's got... Uh, just two, I guess, triangles with a strip in the middle, and it's at some kind of weird bias angle, so it messes with your eyes because it's not, it is square, but it looks like maybe a parallelogram or something like that. And then I also took it a step further and I made some, uh, or I'm in the process of finishing up some little coasters from the little trimming pieces from the chaos boards. So these are uh, kind of goofy looking, but you know, fun little projects that have no real. I don't know, purpose other than just to have some fun in the shop. So that's the kind of stuff I enjoy is getting out, of, getting out here and messing around and just having some fun for no uh, actual real purpose. So the biggest thing this week and the thing that I'm most excited about is something I have been talking about and teasing about on a few other areas, uh, chair kits. So let's take a look at those. So I'm really excited about this because I've been planning this for a long time. So it's nice to be at the point where I'm starting to execute and get this thing ready for product launch. So what we have here is a pre-manufactured parts pile <laughs> of uh, all the parts you need to put together a chair. So this is what uh, I will be selling. This little kit here, you can get this delivered to your house and you can put it together and have yourself a nice little chair to plop a butt in. So I'm gonna put this guy together real quick. This is one of the four styles I'll be launching with. This one is style number three. It has a triple back splat backrest design. So you got three of these things. These are all steam bent. You got uh, the lower back rail with a tenon on the end of a curved part. Also steam bent. Also mortises here along a curve. You have the crest rail on this one. Also steam bent, mortises along a curve. Goodbye mallet. You got the rear legs with the mortises there in the middle, a little tenon on top there. And this goes with the uh, and tenon thing down here. You got the connecting rails, which got these uh, really fun angled tendons on them. <laughs> this is quite fun. You got your front legs, which have a compound curve, I guess you would call that. And then the most boring part, just the front rail, which is just square and boring. <laughs> but not really that boring. And then you got a seat, which has already got a scoop in it, so it uh, conforms to a butt. So, so that's essentially what you'd be buying. This is ready for some detail work for a bunch of finish prep. It's all rough sanded right now, so it needs to be finished sanded. You can apply your finish of choice, and then you can glue it together and have yourself your chair. So this is style number three, and this is uh, that style in cherry. So you get an idea of an actual finished chair. So that's number three. I have four styles I'll be launching with. Each style will have three species within it or offered in that style. So for comparison, this is style number four. Now more of a high back formal chair. This is a lower back casual type of chair. And then I also have one more sample out here right now. That one there is style number five. 
and a quarter sawn white oak. So the biggest thing I've been working on since the last shop update is getting these things ready for launch, which includes all of the, I guess, instructions and documentation I'm putting it together. So I'm shooting a video for each style, walking you through the entire, uh, I guess, construction process or finishing process, so you know exactly what to do when you get a big pile of parts arriving at your door. <laughs> so I'm not quite ready to release the official details of everything just yet. Uh, I can tell you a few things for sure, though. I am planning to launch these as a little bit of a pre-order, pre-sale kind of thing in June uh, as sort of an initial launch type of thing. Once I have all of the documentation and all the sales stuff ready to go, I want to make sure I have it all in place before uh, launching for sale. There will be four different styles, including these three. You'll have three different species selection for each style. Uh, this style and this style, as well as the one not shown here, will be in maple, cherry, and walnut. And then that guy down there is going to be in maple, red oak, and white oak, or the quarter sawn white oak there. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty exciting. And then on pricing, that's the one thing I don't have quite hammered out exactly yet, but most of them will fall between $200 and $300. The pricing is going to depend on the style, the species you buy for that style, and then the quantity that you order as a set. That's the other thing, too, is I'll be selling these as sets, with a minimum order of four. So those are the details I can share now. Look for more, including the official stuff, in, uh, in a few weeks. And this is something I, I say I'm excited about a lot of things. So I'm excited about this, but even more so. <laughs> so a lot of you have been asking me what's been going on with the trailer. So a little bit of an update there. Uh, I think it was like six weeks ago on the previous update, I let you guys know that I was going to be having the trailer hot dip galvanized. I had reached out to a company locally that does that, and they were willing to allow me to make a video about the entire process. Um, well, after six weeks, six kind of frustrating weeks of trying to get that set up, uh, I heard from them last week that they have officially backed out of that. So this trailer will not be getting galvanized. Uh, and in the interest of just getting this thing done and moving on with my life, I'm going to be painting it now. So I will put it back onto the stands and get it painted here. Um, I ordered the paint, so I don't know, maybe late next week or the following week, I'll get here out here and paint it. A lot of people ask why I didn't paint it when I was building it. Uh, it was just too cold. It's when the overnight lows are below zero, it's not a good time to paint. Most paints can't even handle that kind of temperature, and even the low temp paint uh, at that. Uh, lower end of the spectrum which can like cure down to zero Fahrenheit. Uh, it takes three days to cure per coat so that's not a lot of fun. At least now it's a little warmer, it's a little nicer out so I don't really mind being out here uh, painting so it's a good time of year to do that. I'm just looking forward to being done with this thing because uh, it's been you know a long time coming. So that's where this is at. I will have another video on the little details and stuff coming out, so, so, but coming out soon too now that I have some final uh, information on the coating process since I did a lot of prep work for galvanization which doesn't actually matter anymore. So let's wrap it up too. Let's take a look at some viewer projects. First this week is a baby rattle by Jeff. Jeff made this rattle for a friend who found out she's expecting her first child. It's made from small scraps of pine and walnut, sanded to 1500 grit and finished with butcher block oil. Next is the crib by Jeff. This is a different Jeff. <laughs> It's made from walnut and maple, and Jeff made this for his firstborn child. The joinery is Morrison tenon, and the back arch was done with bent lamination. The sides are connected with knockdown hardware to convert it into a bed when that time comes. Next is a Maloof-inspired rocker by Kevin. This rocker took Kevin two and a half years as he worked on it periodically while he had breaks from medical school. Kevin just finished his medical degree, and you can find more of his work over on Instagram. Last this week is a campaign bookshelf by Bill. Bill made this campaign style bookshelf for his daughter. It fully disassembles for easy transport. It features brass pins on the top and bottom corners, partially for strength and partially for looks. If you're interested, Bill has a video over on his YouTube channel where he shows you how this thing goes from flat to fully assembled. So that's going to do it for me this week. Make sure you look for more info on the chairs. They'll be coming out uh, fairly soon. I'm excited. Very, very excited. So that's, uh, that's about it for me this week. Thank you, as always, for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, 
please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking.